folks, this is all the fruit. And when I saw those small green mangoes in a little fruit shop on the beautiful coastal tourist town of Los Cristianos in Tenerife, I immediately decided to buy them. Well, why should I buy them? We are right now in January. As you can see, the beach is empty, except for a couple of people playing volleyball. Not really mango season, actually not really fruit season. And this year, the winter fruit season has been extremely bad, even worse than normal. January, February are usually the worst months, but this month, this year it's even worse. Well, there are mangoes in the shops. However, there are usually two types, some big, Tommy Atkins slash Kate stuff, which is usually not even named, which is called mangas, and some small yellow stuff, the local seedling mangoes, which are officially known as Gomera, usually Gomera one, but here they call them mangoes. Seeing something different right now in January is quite an exception. So when I saw those little green mangoes, they don't look too appetizing, but I bought them. Well, for two reasons. Firstly, yeah, some different mangoes, so that can be quite interesting. Secondly, I don't even think that those are different mangoes. I think that those are the same Tommy Atkins Kate stuff that's in every shop, but smaller. Actually, this shop, it's kind of a rare fruit shop, so they had the small yellow mangoes, they had the big green mangas, and they had those small green things, they called them mangoes, although theoretically I think they should be called mangas because they are not the local yellow seedling mangoes. Why did I buy them? Well, in Gran Canaria I had a very good experience with a similar type of mangoes. They were really cheap, 350 a kilo. They were even smaller than those on average, covered with a lot of those little corky dots, but they were much bigger and much more prominent on them. And they tasted much better than any other mango I could find in December in Gran Canaria. And now I hope that those small mangoes here will be just as good. Not much flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sweeter than the average Tommy Atkins or Kate, which is being sold out of the refrigerators. This one is even sweeter. Mm -hmm. A bit dry and pretty sweet. So I think, yeah, this is just some Tommy Atkins Arcade from some tree which was stressed or underwatered or something. And so the mangoes it bore, they are considered suboptimal because they are small and probably because they are dry. Well, however, as I said, it's winter and yeah, we are scraping the bottom when it comes to mango varieties. And so, yeah, everything which is sweet and tasty is a rarity right now. And I think somehow, I don't know what happens, but with those little mangoes, maybe that the trees are stressed, yeah, they produce small mangoes, but they still produce a lot of sugar which is now concentrated in the smaller mangoes so yeah buying small green mangoes in the middle of winter on the canary islands usually seems to pay off those are not as good not as sweet as the really tiny ones i bought on gran canaria a little bit bigger a little bit less sweet but still a little bit cheaper than the big ones and still definitely a lot sweeter than the big ones so folks, when you end up on the Canary Islands in winter, look out for small green mangoes. They might not look like anything. They might be a little bit cheaper than the other ones, but they will most probably be sweeter. So those were some unnamed small green mangoes on the island of Tenerife. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos through the very difficult fruit season of the island of Tenerife. If you're interested, in more fruit videos from the Canary Islands, check out my Canary Island playlist. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.